What's up guys, it's Ashwin. Today, we're gonna be tidying up my engine bay by relocating these ugly towel lines right here. There goes the light. So I'm gonna be removing these uh, plastic covers right here and then trying to route them behind um, the oil catch can and uh, right along there. So we'll clean up the engine bay a fair bit. Cause honestly, these lines are really ugly right there. All right, so now I'm gonna completely remove the catch can so I can just get these wires behind it and uh, snake them right behind there. So I'm gonna try to turn this connector right here so it's not making this awkward angle. But before you do that, make sure that you disconnect your battery back here. Put a little cloth here when your battery's disconnected so you don't get locked out. I put a cloth uh, before the terminal right there. But before, before you disconnect the battery, make sure your car's in sleep mode if you have an automatic the little light beside the P should be off, not on. Uh, if you're in a manual, I would just wait 16 minutes because that's the usual time it will take to go into sleep mode, but yeah. So using my really dull Dremel, I made a little cut right here to fit the wire to the side. So I shaved down the wall right there so I can turn the wire that way. And now I can just put the cover back on and then we should be good. So here's the final result. I got the, the cover on, I got the wire going this way and I put some extra heat shrink right here because I wasn't uh, I wasn't too happy with that much wire exposed right there. So double uh, heat shrunk it and now we're good. So there we go, I got it zip tied right there on this side and also right here on this side. I'll clean up and cut off those uh, extra lines later, but it really does clean up the engine bay a lot. I can do uh, an M3 cowl now, so I don't have to keep removing it each time I want to do something to the, to the engine, because as you know, if you have an N54, it's kind of annoying to remove everything each time you want to actually do something to the engine. Alright guys, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want more content on this uh, BMW 135i. As you can see right here, a lot of mods in here, a lot of stuff in here, and even more stuff over here. So, you know, stay tuned. A lot more content coming out soon. Uh, and yeah, thanks so much for watching.